Hello, so if you didn't watch my first video, um, I've just done fluffy brows in that. Um, well, I did fluffy brow, a more defined brow with pomade. Um, and now I'm going to show you my everyday um, makeup look. So say if I was just going shopping, something like that. I do get asked quite a lot when girls come for the makeup done, they say, oh, I don't really wear makeup like in between going out and I don't wear makeup every day. I used to, but I don't now. I like let my skin breathe and it's just, sometimes you just, you just want to be you. But um, if I was going shopping or maybe just out for tea, anything like that, that you'd like, an, even a night out though, sometimes it's so nice to have like really natural looking makeup. But I'm just going to show you a really basic look in this video. So, I have cleansed my face with Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish and used her muslin cloth that she uses to remove any dirt and the excess. And then I have wiped over my face with this um, Oil of Use Cleansing Micellar Water. It doesn't make your skin really greasy and it doesn't make you break out. Um, I've also put I use in the blue bottle, I'll I'll put it on after for you um, to show you which I mean. It's hyaluronic um, acid, like a, a serum. Yeah, it's a serum. It feels, but yeah, serum. <laughs> um, I like that. It just really moisturises your face. Sometimes I don't even use primer when I'm just doing everyday makeup. If I've used that, I really like it. It just, it just really hydrates the skin. It's really, really nice. I'll put it on um, in the skin products on my page in the little icons after. So you can have a look if you want to purchase that. I think it's about ten ninety nine in Boots. But in Savers, I'm sure it's only about £6. You can get it a bit cheaper. So keep your eye out. So I have actually got my brows on. So I would do my brows first normally anyway. I know they're completely different. So... I'm just going to show you on this side of my face with my fluffy brow, like this basic look. So I'm going to look a bit weird because I'm going to be like Casper this side, glam this side. So I'm going to start by, I still um, do my concealer first around my eyes. But when I'm not wearing a really heavy eye, I will do the underneath as well first. Normally I would just do an eye base on top, get your um smoky eye on or whatever you're having but i only tend to wear a little bit of eyeshadow or bronzer on my eye when i'm just being natural so i'm gonna do i'm gonna conceal the whole eye to begin with right i like to use underneath this la girl it's quite dark it's quite orange but orange knocks this grayness out so i use that to start with because if you go straight in with quite a pale concealer over a dark eye. I've always had dark eyes like this. I don't really get bags. I seem to just get purple eyes. It's horrible. Um, I go in with this concealer because orange will always knock out that grey tone. So don't be scared and think, oh my God, I'm going to have like really orange. Under eyes because you're actually not. So I just put enough up there and then obviously you're going to spread it out with your brush so i am using the peaches and cream pc 13 brush it's just like this it's really nice you can even use it for your foundation as well i like to also spread my under eye concealer with it so i'm just brushing out with that gently around my eye don't try not to catch your brow there though I like to give it a pat sometimes because it just settles it in like if you've got any like little creases or fine lines. Um, for my actual concealing my eye, I like to use this, um, I think it's a Zoeva brush this. Um, I can't remember the number because it's actually rubbed off but it's, it's flat like this. It's really, really good. I love using it on my clients to do eye base as well. This concealer is Max Factor Radiant Lift Long Lasting Concealer. Um, it's got vitamin C and E in it, and it's number 02 
white. So just get a little bit, it squeezes out like that. It has got um, the spongy bit on that you can use directly on your eye, but I don't, I don't like to. Just get a little bit on your hand. And I'm just going to get, now this is quite light, I wouldn't base um, if you was doing a really um, detailed eye or like you was going to put glitter on or your pigments or anything like that or a dark, anything like for going out, I wouldn't ever use that as a full on like base. I'm using this because it's a bit lighter and it's daytime. You'd use something thicker. I like to use um, the NARS. Um, the creamy concealers, which also the Maybelline Fit Me concealers are almost a double for those, which are really good. Like you're not wasting it then, just based in the eye. I'm just going over my lid because my lid does get a bit purple as well as as well. It's just purple. This point you can just kind of define the underneath your brow. So if you have had any um bits that have gone over that you've not fully wiped off this will just get rid of any brow pencil where you've gone kind of out your eye. No, it seems orange but I love it because I'm so dark under my eyes I'm not saying everyone has to use it but it just knocks that purpley greyness completely out of my eye and then what I tend to do is get your concealer that I've just used the radiant one now I've done that, take a more, um, take a fluffier brush. This is a Cassie Lowe Mass Bowie brush. Uh, really, really good for concealing and things like that. I just take a more fluffy brush and I just go back in with the concealer over the top of the orange one with my lighter one. This is the Max Factor Radiant one again, so I'm just coming in. This is just under the eye. You can take it. As you can see, that's got a really nice, like, creamy, oh, light. Oh, got some. Um, like that. Then I'm just going to. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. It's the Huda Beauty. Warm Browns Obsessions. I love it for like everyday use. I take the top orange one. So it's got like an orangey tone to it. Just get quite a fluffy brush. So this is the Peaches and Cream PC10 brush. Take quite a fluffy brush and I literally just go in my crease with it. So just go through your crease, almost like a windscreen wiper back and forth, just like so. It depends how orange you want it to be. Like I like it quite natural for a daytime look. So I am not using a lot of product at all because I I, I'm not doing like big night out makeup. I just want a bit of color, like so. And then I just like to, when I've done that, using the same brush this time, because it's just for a bit of colour, I take the bottom, this brown colour, and just give it a little wash, like over the actual eye, up to the orange, just blend into your socket and out. You can even take um, an even fluffier blending brush, just come in and just blend it through the out. It's it's like, you can see really neat because it's just almost like a little wash to brighten it up. You can do the same thing with bronzer. I use bronzer loads on my eyelids. I love it. It just gives a really nice balance of colour. Do you know what I mean? It's just define the socket a little bit more and I've just blended it out. And I also, at this moment in time, use um, PC11 Peaches and Cream Brush. I just come back into that bottom brown shade and I like to have a bit of colour underneath my eye there, so very light though. Um, then I get my eyelash curlers 
but you can probably see there, but has just lifted my lashes. Um, I really, really like For Every Day, the Maybelline Great Lash. You'll all have seen this before. Um, really good. If you ever do that and you get um, mascara like underneath your eye or anywhere like that, let it dry. Don't be tempted to do it beforehand. I used to always do this before I trained in makeup and I couldn't believe one day Cassie said to us, let it dry, um, just get a cotton mold board rub it it comes off it actually really does like at first i was like no it won't but really does so don't put it just open my eye a bit like well a bit more god i'm ashamed to even turn my head now um okay, so I wash. um how to do how i do mine watch the first video right now I'm going to use a primer and I also wanted to show you how like you can use everyday products it, not everything has to be really expensive I do use quite expensive products on my clients they're paying that's what you're paying for and I, I've noticed a lot of clients do like that I like to use a good foundation but there are some products you can use that are just you can't believe the difference like when i said about the maybelline and um, fit me concealer it is like the nars and some people obviously can't afford to do that this is my job to buy products but for an everyday look so today instead of using any snazzy primers because i do like using the hourglass veil one amazing but that is quite expensive i don't know if it's about 30 or 40 pounds for the big one might be 20 for the small one but it's very small I'm actually, I bought this just to try thinking it'd be rubbish and it's the Primark Illuminating Skin Primer Glow. I nearly used it all. It's actually really good. I tend to use it more on myself than my clients, but just take some of that. Gosh, it is getting low. Um, I'm going to use... Um, this brush this is um embell embellish brushes um i think she has an instagram i think it's called embellish brushes uh, it's like that though like dash um bell ish i've just dipped this brush this little fat brush in the primer and i'm just gonna if you can just say it's got that really nice glow now you don't need to use too much at all it goes quite a long way but considering that is primer it's so nice and i can't tell you it's dead cooling on your skin really nice and it almost like look at the difference in glow on this side so obviously i'm only doing this because i'm only showing you this side today then i'm going to use Touche Cla, Yves Saint Laurent, um, 4B is the shade, I can't, the actual shade was on the box, I don't know if it was like sand or something, I don't, I haven't got the box any longer because I always throw them away from my kit, but it's got quite a yellowy undertone because that suits my skin better, I don't see any pink ones, and I'm going to mix it with, it's, um, Laura Hitchin, I saw a few times, says so she wears this, uh, Max Factor Radiant Lift. This is in Crystal Beige 33. I've seen that she says she wears it and I thought if it's good enough for Laura Hitchin, as good a makeup artist as she is, it's good enough for me. So I like to mix the two. This is a bit like Nashu Glow, slightly more glowy, not quite as thick. It's really nice in the summer. I do love Nashu Glow though. I'll always love it. But it, it, it's slowly becoming one of my favourites this it's not a massively heavy coverage but you can build it up but this is quite a thick coverage so together just make a nice little combination so just squeeze out it's quite runny the touche cloud one so only do one pump that's one pump that's quite a lot really 
on one pump as the other. Now you can see this max that to one slightly lighter because I always go darker with mine because I've always got fake tan on. And I always like, I just like mixing foundations. I never tend to use just one foundation on my clients. Um, taking a brush. Well, obviously, you only use a brush. Um, I like to use this PC27 Peaches and Cream brush for my foundation. It's not that big at all, but you can, um, I just like the way it goes on. So mix. a natural nice glow and I do like to buff it up to under my eye it's up to you how you would like to do that I'm gonna use the max factor miracle this is light medium they do do I think it's medium dark they do and you just squeeze it up it's very much like the Charlotte Tilbury one I like to get it off put some on my hand once again use too much product when will I learn um, and then I'm taking this, the Cassie Lowe, oh, I can't remember what this is called, but it's one of my favorite. I don't know if it's Katie, Katie, I'm not sure, but it's a Cassie Lowe mask brush. It's really, really nice. If you went on her website, you would be able to see it. She sells all her brushes on there. Um, dip it into your contour. Now, don't start too high up, so you want to do it. A lot of people get frightened over contouring, especially cream contour, but I actually think cream contour is easier. It doesn't get that like cakey sense, but if you want a matte look, a powder contour is really nice, but this is a cream. So don't be frightened, but don't start too high up so you're not like, oh, oh God, I nearly put that in my hair. Nearly done what I'm just about to tell you not to do. If you start too high up, you end up blend. You, you can't blend as much so start about here like that and I tend to put my initial line in so I can see where I am you could even if you get your brush I've already put contour there now so I don't want to do that feel where that bone is and go just underneath so and then start to blend You don't want contour here, you want, you'd want it here. If you make a mistake and you go too low, take your foundation brush that you've just been using um, without any product on, just the excess, and you can neaten it up, just come along the line there and neaten it up. I'm gonna put a bit more on. It depends how defined you wanna be as to how much contour to use, I'm not. You probably use more for a dramatica, dramatica, a more dramatic night out look, but it just depends. Personal preference is do you love some contour? And then I'm just going to take the excess detail, go under my chin there, but you can put more if you want. You blend that in. There we go. So that contour I love because it's not too heavy or anything. It's really easy to work with, honestly. Now I'm going to do my bronzer. This is the Cassie Lomas Whipped, whipped Bronzer. I take this Peaches and Cream PCC4 brush. I love it for bronzer dip it in like that so I just tend to go like that and then I start I don't contour the top of my head I know some people do but that's not what I'm doing today so I might do that another time and I just take it where the sunlight would naturally hit your face oh, my baby hairs so here at the top of your head or where you might contour and then on the side so where the it would actually hit your face. I also like to, with this brush that I used under my eye before, dip it in any um, contour you've got left, cream contour. And I always contour my nose. Some people don't like it, but I contour down the side, 
and there on the bulb flower but this and it's very buildable because it's a creamy based um, bronzer this I like to put it on the bulb of the nose a bit through my contour a bit through my contour there so you just building it up it don't go in it too heavy because you can always put more on of this but obviously it's hard you can't really take it off unless you took your whole makeup off but it's really nice really buildable i just love creamy products because i love a glow but i would use also again a powder bronzer if i was doing a more matte look you can use a powder bronzer with this look i just like using that whipped mousse because it's really good um so now i've got my bronzer on i'm going to do my blusher i'm going to take this revolution um i'll show you now palette what's it called it's a blush palette hot spice i love it I, I can't remember how much it was but they're not actually that dear but that's obviously my favorite shade in it because i've used it loads but i like to get my brush and swirl it between all of them just getting because it's just nice you get a, a bit of each then just tap the excess off your brush come here and make the apples in your teeth and just blend like some people like, just like, just like, just like, just especially now it's going into the winter months it's just giving you that like extra color it's really nice some people do like to use a bronzer instead of a blusher i sometimes use both so if i ever feel a bit too um pink i'll get my bronzer dip my brush back in and just go lightly over the top it balances it out a little bit there we go so I've just done that on there. I use for my highlighter this Cassie Lomas Kiki Fan Brush. Love that. Or I use this Peaches and Cream PC17. This little fluffy brush. You can either use it on your eyes or I do like to use it for um, highlighter. So we'll see. One of my favourite highlighters are the MAC Mineralise ones. I love, God, there's loads. The Doll Beauty ones, uh, Diamond, that's one of my favourites. And I also like to use, like, the Iconic Drops. Today I'm going to use, because I'm trying to show you a bit more low budget, I'm going to use the Revolution Cheat Kit. I'm going to use um, these top two blended. So I'm going to go like that in both. I use for my highlighter this Cassie Lomas Kiki Fan Brush. Love that. Or I use this Peaches and Cream PC17. This little fluffy brush. You can either use it on your eyes or I do like to use it for um, highlighter. So we'll see. One of my favourite highlighters are the MAC Mineralise ones. I love, God, there's loads. The Doll Beauty ones, uh, Diamond, that's one of my favourites. And I also like to use, like, the Iconic Drops. Today I'm going to use, because I'm trying to show you a bit more low budget, I'm going to use the Revolution Cheat Kit. I'm going to use um, these top two blended. I'm going to go like that in both. Highlighter. I like to highlight my brow bone there whilst I'm doing this. I like, if I was doing my whole face, I'd always put a bit there as well. A bit here, the bottom of my nose. And I would put it on my cupid's bow there. Um, but I do really like that. Got a really nice glow to it. Um, I'm going to take this, it's getting really stumpy now, I need a new one. I don't even know what colour it actually is, but it's a NYX light pink. I'm actually ashamed how short that's got. I keep forgetting to order them. And also, so this is slightly more brown, that's slightly more pink. I'm going to use the slightly more brown one today. Just follow your natural lip line. And I like if you want it a bit more shaded, blend. Oh god, I feel like that. 
from the inside out like that. Don't cover your whole lip. It's nice to do the blend and then up the side. You can do so. You can either go out, even go out the line if you want to make your lips a bit bigger. Follow your natural lip line up. Just go slightly outside it. So that would be how I'd line my lips and then put it on my hand, dip it in my brush, just start over your lined lip and you can go in over the top with some gloss which is usually what I like to do. So I'm going to take the uh, Diamond Milk Fenty Gloss Bomb. Love Fenty Gloss Bombs. Love the original. Love this Diamond Milk one as well. Amazing. Favourite lip glosses ever. Like so. And then I'm just going to take, to finish off, the MAC Prep and Prime Powder. It's just transparent, translucent, I nearly said transparent. Take a fluffy brush, dip it in your powder. This is amazing. You don't get flashback and stuff like that on pictures. You know when you look really white? It's amazing. And any areas that you think you'd normally get a bit oily or greasy or just want to set. It's amazing for setting your under eye concealer without looking cakey. If you want to use a setting spray, spray your setting spray over. Obviously, there's a lot of matte and glow ones, it's up to you. But that would be, obviously, that's my natural face, but this would be my everyday makeup look. I've not got a lot of makeup on. It's just about building the right products up. I like it new to you, really, but it's your own personal preference. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I've talked for ages and ages, but this is the first ever time I've done a video like this so apart from the brow one I've just done so please bear with me um it is hard when you feel like you're talking to yourself so these celebrities and bloggers who do them all the time honestly amazing because it is and it's not nice listening well I don't think it's nice listening to your own voice it's quite strange so if you've watched it and you've enjoyed it thank you so so much thank you have a good day